forests do grow on their own, but by doing manual planting, that just gets a head start on establishing a new stand of timber. Oregon forest landowners grow approximately 40 million trees in Oregon every year. Um, that helps supply a lot of the wood products that are needed throughout the country. I'm Stephen Kosky. I work for Starker Forest. I've been here for a little over five years, four years as an intern before that. Um, I'm one of the reforestation foresters. Starker Forest uh, is a family-owned company established in 1936. The overall goal on planting trees and establishing a new stand of timber is to get it a head start. For every tree we cut, we plant uh, three, at least three seedlings, and that's to help uh, get the stand established. Oregon law requires us to plant seedlings within two years after harvest operations. Um, and we, our goal is to have them free to grow and above vegetation and competition within four years. We want to establish our stands quickly as possible so that we have the best chance of survival going forward. Uh, planting projects take quite a bit of coordination. The coordination takes over a year in advance for us to start the reforestation process. Starting in September, the year prior to planting, so a full year, we'll get our seedling orders and we're coordinating seed zones within that order. And that's in total about 500,000 to 600,000 trees per year. After that, um, you will have to go and visit and make sure quality control at the nursery and every, all the production's up to standard. Starker plants about 15 different species Primarily is Douglas fir, western hemlock, western red cedar, uh, Sitka spruce, and there's a handful more too that we plant on an annual basis. When you get towards the valley, we plant primarily Douglas fir. It's a higher population that's the, what's natively grown in that area. Western hemlock, we plant uh, as we get closer to the coast, that's more of the dominant species. And then for areas where we have root rot pockets, we'll put um, western red cedar, so that's less susceptible to some of the root rot diseases. Establishing a stand is very labor intensive. In Western Oregon, virtually everything is planted by hand. Starker Forest contracts out all of their planting. So we, we are starting in October when the soil's warm, we plant the tree, um, and then it, it can continue to grow roots until it gets too cold in the winter, and then it's ready to go come the next spring. So that's the primary goal, and we'll plant all the way through February, depending on um, weather conditions, so weather is a huge factor on when and what, what species and what timing we're doing for all of our different plantings. Each tree planter is planting between 800 and 1,000 trees a day and walking through all sorts of different terrain with very heavy packs of trees on. These packs can weigh up to 50 plus pounds and they're hauling them uphill and downhill all day, 8 to 10 hours a day putting a lot of swings in the ground to put the tree in there too, so it's uh, a lot of hard work. Reforestation is extremely important to the success and the future of forest and Oregon in general. Replanting the forest is, you could say, the most important step. The hard work that these crews put into it every day is part of the reason we're going to have thriving forests in the future.